If you've ever read Change Magazine or Fast Magazine, both of them had an article about two or three years ago. Um, and the article was about leadership. I have lots of articles about leadership, so I challenge you to find this particular article. But one of the things it talked about is changing your way of thinking as you try to take on um, bigger and bigger leadership roles. Notice I didn't say higher and higher. I said bigger and bigger leadership roles. Because you can be in a position with no title and have an incredibly big leadership role to perform. But one of the things that the article said about thinking is that sometimes the most successful people at certain levels of leadership are incredibly tactical. They are the people that understand the tactics and get them done. So we call on them because they are very good at making the plan, figuring out the tactics, and getting it done. But as you have a bigger and bigger leadership role, you have to be a lot more strategic in your thinking. And leaders who think strategically regularly, these articles said, are rare. Because too often what has got us into the leadership role is how tactical we are. How much we can talk about this particular activity. How you will get it done, how it will work, or how it won't work. So I will start by challenging you that what Norman and all of the leaders are asking us to do is shift our own thinking wherever we are up a level. They're asking us not to think about what the barriers are. We did that. We needed to do that. We listed a lot of barriers yesterday. That's not the point. The point is surmounting the barriers. And yes, you can start by thinking tactically how you would do it in your group, but we're thinking about changing the nation and the profession. And we do not need tactical thinking. We need strategic thinking on how not only is this likely to be influential, it may not be tactically precise for what you need to do on your campus or in your program, but it's going to be strategic. For example, when Berkeley does something, it has a strategic impact on my campus. Okay? We may not do what Berkeley does, but it matters. On the other hand, when a community college does something, we may need to know what they're doing, but we won't pay attention unless there's a strategy. How do you get Texas A&M's attention to pay attention to this very good idea that is happening here? That's the kind of strategic thinking, or one aspect of that, that we need. 